Hey, how's it going guys? It's your boy Phobia here, and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak iOS 11.1.2 or lower. So this applies from everything from 11.0 up to 11.1.2. Anything after that, like 11.2 onwards, will not work. So, uh, yeah, currently there's no jailbreak for those firmwares, so you're kind of screwed for the moment. Anyway, to get started, you're going to need a couple things. Uh, by the way, this is the Windows version of this tutorial, obviously. Uh, I do have a Mac version of this tutorial, so if you need that, you can uh, view, you know, there will be a link in the top right of your screen, or you can go to my last video before this one. Uh, that was the Mac tutorial. Anyway, so to get started, you're going to need to download some things. What you're going to need to download is City Impactor. You're also going to need 7-zip. There is a 32 and 64-bit version of this, so um, download the appropriate version. If you don't know which one to get, you can right-click your start menu, click System, and you can click or uh, you can look at System Type, and it either will say 32-bit or 64-bit operating system. So whichever one, just download the respective version. You're also going to need Putty, which again has a 32 and a 64-bit version, and you're also going to need WinSCP which does not have uh, different versions. So yeah, once you have all of that, uh, I will also leave the link to this. This is the tweak compatibility list. So everything under fully compatible is obviously fully compatible. So you can install anything under here. I would not recommend installing anything that is not on this list because if it's not, then it's untested. And if it does not work, uh, it's just, you could throw your device into a boot loop or it could be fine. If you put it into a boot loop, pretty much what that means is that you're pretty much going to have to update to the latest uh, iOS, which nobody wants to do that because you can't jailbreak anymore. So try not to install anything that will make that and just stick to this fully compatible list. This list has grown and will keep growing. Since I made my Mac tutorial, this is already about doubled in size. So as you can see, there's a whole bunch of tweaks that you can install. So yeah. Also, by the way, there will come a time when Cydia Substrate is updated and you can install Cydia. And whenever that time comes, this um, Electra itself is very easy to uninstall along with all the tweaks. So once the time comes, I will make a video on how to actually uninstall Electra. So you can install whatever new jailbreak or the new version of Electra that includes Cydia. So to get started, just go ahead and open up Cydia Impactor. Wait for that to open. Okay, now that you have City Impactor open. Uh, if your phone is not showing here, you are going to have to just go ahead and download iTunes and make sure that's up to date uh, because I, my phone was not showing up here and like I said, all I had to do was just update iTunes and it works now. So once your phone showed up here, uh, I, you're also going to need the Electra Beta 5 APK or the latest version of Electra. I will leave the link to the latest one. It will always be the latest one in the description. Uh, the newest version includes a fix for Barrel, where if you installed Barrel before, it would send you into safe mode. And uh, yeah, once you're, uh, the new version prevents that by changing something. So take the latest beta IP, or IPA and just go ahead and drag it onto City Impactor. And you're just going to log in with your iTunes or your Apple ID email and password. Once you log in with that, it will show you uh, in the bottom right, it will show you the uh, status of what's going on. Once it's done, you will have the IPA on your phone, as you can see on the bottom row of my phone, I have it installed. You will not have uh, Anemone. I don't know how to say that. Uh, somebody told me in my Mac tutorial that I was saying that wrong. Sorry if that triggers you. I, do, I don't know how to say it correctly. So I'm just going to call it Anemone. Okay? Okay. So uh, Anemone will be installed whenever you uh, update, or well, jailbreak for the first time using Electra. But anyway, uh, so um, the only thing that you're going to need after this is whatever tweak you're trying to install. I'm just going to do a sample install of blurry badges. So yeah, you're going to start by jailbreaking. Go ahead and open up the Electra uh, app on your phone. If it does not open, if it tells you something about untrusted developer, go into your settings, go to general, go to profiles, find your name and it will say uh, development or something like that. Click that and just click trust. Once it's trusted, just open it up and make sure tweaks is checked down here. Uh, so make sure that's checked and then just hit jailbreak. This will take a lot longer for you the first time if it's your first time jailbreaking. 
because it has to install Anemone and all the binaries and it, or binaries and everything like that. And once it's done, you will go ahead and respring. Well, you won't respring. The device will respring anyway. It's also possible that it could reboot your device if it fails jailbreaking, but it's been very stable for me thus far, and I have not had any issue like that. So, yeah, once you're done, you'll be jailbroken. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of tweaks installed. I also have a theme. If you're wondering what theme this is, you can open Animone. It's the uh, Lotus theme. So, yeah, that's what theme I'm using, if you were curious for some reason. So, now once that's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and install a tweak. So, this is a little bit different on this jailbreak. Since you do not have Cydia, you have to manually install the tweaks. It's not that difficult, though, so I'll go ahead and show you how to do that now. Once you're done with that, you can just close Impact or you don't need that anymore. So, here's where 7-Zip comes into play. You're going to take whatever tweak you're trying to install. In this case, I'm just going to install Blurry Badges. I already have it, as you can see here. On my phone, you can see the uh, blurred out badges. So, right click on the file, uh, hover over 7-Zip, and click Open Archive. So now once you have it open, uh, some tweaks will be different, the file structure will be different, but pretty much just go into the data, and for some reason there's a period folder here, just you go into that, go into Library, and then you'll have all of these. So you can either do it from here, or what I'm going to do is go up one, and just drag the Library folder to my desktop, and we're going to install it using that. So once you have that extracted, you're going to go ahead and open up the program that we downloaded earlier called WinSCP. And now it's going to ask you for a host name, a username, and a password. To get that on your phone, let me go ahead and bring this to the foreground. And once you're on your phone, just go ahead and open up settings, go to Wi-Fi. Just go ahead and open up your, press the I next to your network. And you'll see an IP address there. That's where we're going to be using, as you can see, IP address right here. This is what we're going to be using on WinSCP. So just go ahead and type in 192.168.19.120. That will be different for you. It will not be the same. So just make sure to check that in settings. For username, you're just going to type in root. And for password, it's going to be Alpine. A-L-P-I-N-E. So Alpine. And that is the default password. I will show you how to change that um, once we get logged in later on the terminal. Well, on a shell anyway. We'll go ahead and change that because it's not a good idea to leave it as stock. Because if you're in a public place, somebody can connect to your phone if you're on the public Wi-Fi. And it's just, it's not good. But anyway, so once you type that in, just click on login. It'll log in. Uh, the first time you connect, it will ask you, or it will say something about a untrusted certificate or something like that. Just click yes on it. And once you do that, you're going to be in the uh, home directory of the root user, which is prar, uh, private var root. You're just going to click this right here and go to the root. Once you're here, you're going to go into Bootstrap. Uh, if you know how to uh, uninstall or how to run scripts, this is the script right here that you use to uninstall. So. Uh, like I said, I'll make a tutorial for everybody who doesn't know how to do that later, but if you do know how to, that's how you un jailbreak right there. So, uh, maybe later. <laughs> maybe. But anyway, go into, now in here you're going to go into library, and we're going to go into SB inject first. That's where uh, the bulk of tweaks will be installed. So you're going to go ahead and open that library folder that you extracted earlier. So you'll have mobile substrate, uh, preferences bundles, and preference loader. What goes into the SB inject folder is under mobile substrate and then dynamic libraries. So these two files right here are going to go into SB inject. So I'm going to drop it in there and it's already done uploading. Usually there's no um, finished thing, but as you can see, it's called backdrop badge. And if we scroll down to B, you'll see backdrop badge right there. Uh, there's so just give it a second and it'll usually be done. So uh, that's actually not what you want to do. You don't want to do that. You want to click on this back button up here because uh, this is actually a shortcut, not the folder isn't actually located here. So it's going to take you to a completely different place. Same thing with themes. This is also where you put in themes, uh, the theme folders. I have Lotus, like I said. So you want to use that back button on those or Alt plus left, as you can see, that's the uh, shortcut for that. So now you're going to go into preference bundles and we'll go back on here to library. You're going to go to preference bundles. And just drag and drop that into there. As you can see, it, it popped up a little bit there because it's a little bit of a larger file. But like I said, it usually will not come up with anything. It'll just finish, which is fine. And then you're going to go back again. Uh, on this folder, 
you can actually use that right there or you could use the back button again whichever your preference is and then go into preference loader go into preferences back here you're going to go library preferences or preference loader and then preferences and again just drag and drop simple as that so now you might be asking how do i get this to show up which is where putty comes in so now we're going to leave this open for now but now once you have all the tweak files installed go ahead and launch putty so now this is going to be our mobile shell or how we're going to connect to our phone so once again you're going to enter this ip address here you're going to go 192 well i'm going to go 192.168.19.120 leave the port alone and uh, you don't really have to change everything else disregard this by the way uh, you won't have this this is just there because i that's one of my servers that i connect to anyway so then you're just going to hit open and see this is one of the uh, this is a key alert it's just saying that you've never connected to this before are you sure it's usually uh, when a fingerprint changes so you're just going to hit yes on that and now it's going to say login as so here you're going to type in root and now it's going to say root at and then the ip address password once again it's a l p i n e unless you have changed it that is the default and then you'll get this show iphone root so now all you have to do if you're just installing tweaks you're just going to type in kill all space dash nine space springboard so just like this uh, i would try and remember to put this in the description i didn't last time so i if I remember, I'll put that command in there so you could just copy and paste it. But once you have that typed in, you can just go ahead and hit enter, which we will in a second. But I'm going to show you how to change your root password first. So to do that, all you have to do, it's very simple. Just type in P-A-S-S-W-D. And that is the just Linux uh, command to change your password. Hit enter and it will say changing password for root. And you can type in your new password and just it'll ask you to confirm. And once you confirm your password, it'll ch it'll update it. So I actually wasn't planning to do this, but so I'll just put in Alpine, Alpine, just in case. Uh, as you can see, I messed up I messed up the password because you can't see what you're typing. So if that happens, just type it in again and make sure you actually spell it right this time, as you can see. So now once again, uh, we're going to enter in that command: kill all space dash nine and then Springboard. If I can type, typing's hard. Then just hit enter, and it, as you can see, it's respring my device. Sorry about that, but now once your device is resprung, you can see uh, that your changes will take an effect. Have taken effect. I already had blurry badges installed, so as you can see, there isn't any difference on my screen personally, but on yours, obviously, it will take place. So now I'm going to show you how to delete apps if it sends you into safe mode, or if something goes wrong with them uh, I'll show you how to delete them so pretty much all you have to do to delete, to delete tweaks is just go into the folders where you just place stuff uh, if assuming you can kill still connect to your um, phone through uh, when SCP you'll go ahead and just go into the folder let's say this one that I just installed better uh, blurry badges was a problem you just select both of them if you just click one and then control click the other one just click delete and then as you can see you can just delete it i press delete on my keyboard but you can press the delete button here i don't need to delete those so yeah i'm gonna leave them alone and then go back and preference bundles same thing just select it and delete it and let's say there is a preference loader for the tweak that you had an issue with just once again delete it so simple as that and then you're going to issue that same command kill all dash nine springboard once you're done with that once you're done deleting the folders i mean and it should come out of safe mode so now once you're done with that that's how you uninstall tweaks and uh yeah so now you're jailbroken now you know how to delete tweaks if there's issues with them and you also now know how to install tweaks so that's pretty much it um i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did please leave a like and subscribe helps a lot and if once the like I said before, once the substrate update is released, I will make a new video of how to uninstall uh, Anemone, it's, or not Anemone, uh, Electra and Anemone and any other tweaks. Um, it's very simple. I'll make a video of how to do that. But until then, uh, have a good one. I'll see you the next time. Peace.